Step into the shoes of the Bundy family in the late 80s with the sitcom Married with Children. This TV series takes a comedic jab at the typical American family life, offering a unique and often outrageous perspective on everyday situations. With its straightforward humor and no-nonsense approach, the show quickly became a household favorite, making waves with its unconventional take on family dynamics. What makes it an everlasting symbol in the industry? Well, buckle up because there are many funny, shocking, and even sad facts coming your way. But first, imagine this a dysfunctional family where the husband despises his job, the wife shops like it's an Olympic sport, and their kids are far from the model offspring. The result? A hilarious roller coaster of misadventures that keep you hooked. Now, as you settle in for a binge watch session, be prepared for the unexpected. The show doesn't just tickle your funny bone, it jolts it. And as you navigate through the laughter, you might find yourself pondering the enduring qualities that have made this series a classic. Have you ever had a TV show impact your life? Married with children has a knack for that. Share your personal stories in the comments below and let us know how it has inspired or influenced your own family dynamics. So what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Get ready for a nostalgic trip down memory lane. And remember, there's more to discover about the show, so keep watching for those funny, shocking, and sad facts that lie ahead. The 1987 TV series, Married, with children, left an undeniable mark on popular culture during its time. Created by Michael G. Moy and Ron Leavitt, the show quickly became a cultural phenomenon, pushing the boundaries of traditional sitcoms with its irreverent humor and unconventional approach. As it unfolded on the small screen, the show resonated with audiences for its unapologetic depiction of the dysfunctional Bundy family. Starring Ed O'Neill as the bumbling yet endearing Al Bundy and Katie Seagull as his sharp-tongued wife Peggy, it provided a humorous take on the struggles of a lower middle-class family. During its original run, it garnered both praise and criticism for its bold humor, often addressing taboo topics with a satirical edge. Despite mixed reviews from critics, the sitcom struck a chord with viewers who appreciated its refreshing departure from the wholesome family sitcoms of the time. The impact of Married? With children extended beyond its initial reception, sparking a wave of imitators and influencing the evolution of sitcoms. The series ushered in an era where unconventional family dynamics and edgy humor became more commonplace on television. Spin-offs were a natural progression for its success. One notable example is the short-lived Top of the Heap, which followed with the character Vinnie Verducci, played by Matt LeBlanc, a friend of the Bundy family. While not as enduring as its predecessor, the spin-off demonstrated the lasting influence of the show. The legacy of the sitcom also manifested in merchandise, with fans eager to bring a piece of the Bundy lifestyle into their homes. From t-shirts featuring Al Bundy's iconic couch pose to novelty items inspired by the characters, the merchandise reflected the show's cultural impact and enduring popularity. Moreover, it paved the way for adaptations and reimaginings in various forms. Its impact on the sitcom landscape can still be seen in the influence it had on subsequent shows that dared to challenge the status quo of family-centric television. In conclusion, Married with Children was not just a sitcom, it was a trailblazer that left an indelible mark on the television landscape. Its impact on popular culture is still felt today as it continues to be remembered as a show that dared to be different, reshaping the sitcom genre for generations to come. Married with Children, a TV series from 1987, features interesting trivia that adds depth to the show's background. Jefferson's middle name is Millhouse. Notably, the opening sequence includes a shot from National Lampoon's Vacation, where the Griswold's Ford Crown Victoria station wagon is visible on the interstate interchange. Amanda Bears, known for portraying Marcy Rhoda's D'Arcy, also directed several episodes, showcasing her versatility in both acting and directing roles. This dual contribution adds an extra layer to the show's dynamics. These subtle details enrich the viewing experience, offering glimpses into the behind-the-scenes intricacies. The inclusion of elements from National Lampoon's Vacation in the opening sequence adds a clever touch of intertextuality, connecting Married with children to the broader cinematic landscape. In summary, Married with children, known for its unconventional humor, carries additional nuances through Jefferson's middle name and Amanda Bears' multifaceted role as an actor and director. 
These details contribute to the show's charm, making it a notable part of television history. In Married, with children, familial ties extended beyond the scripted roles with cast members bringing their real families on screen. Ed O'Neill's wife, Catherine Russoff, appeared twice, while David Faustino's brother, Michael Faustino, made occasional appearances. Christina Applegate's mother, Nancy Pretty, also had a notable guest appearance, and Katie Sago's brother, Joey Sago, made multiple contributions to the show. Additionally, Elaine Hendricks and Juliet Tablack were, at different times, romantically involved with David Faustino. Ed O'Neill, in an interview, disclosed a proposed conclusion to the series after its cancellation. He suggested an episode where the Bundys, having won the lottery, faced a sudden twist of fate, a tornado demolishing their celebration, adding an unexpected closure to the show's narrative. Interestingly, Ed O'Neill's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is situated in front of a shoe store, an unusual placement that adds a quirky touch to his recognition in the entertainment industry. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into the personal and professional lives of the cast members contribute to the unique charm of Married, with children offering fans a closer connection to the show's characters and the actors who portrayed them. In the realm of TV casting, the iconic roles of Al and Peg Bundy and Married. With children weren't initially destined for Ed O'Neill and Katie Sagal. The parts were first offered to Sam Kinison and Rose on Barr. Interestingly, Kinison later made a guest appearance as Al's guardian angel, creating a unique connection to the show. Throughout the series, Al Bundy humorously takes jabs at Rose on Barr. Ed O'Neill stands as the sole cast member to grace all 260 episodes, from the lost episode to the failed pilots that found a place in the series. His enduring presence adds a consistent thread to the show's narrative, showcasing his commitment to the role. In an unfortunate turn of events, Divine was set to appear as Uncle Otto in the second season finale, Married, with children all in the family. Tragically, Divine passed away the night before filming, and the episode was dedicated to his memory. The impact of his absence echoes in the show's history. These casting twists and turns, coupled with O'Neill's unwavering presence and Divine's untimely departure, contribute to the intriguing tapestry of Married, with children offering fans a deeper understanding of the show's evolution. The opening credits of the series showcase the iconic Buckingham Fountain in downtown Chicago. It serves as a distinct backdrop, setting the stage for each episode. A noteworthy aspect of the show's history involves its cancellation. Ed O'Neill speculates that local stations, burdened by the high rights cost, influenced the decision to cease production. Reportedly, these stations paid a hefty $1 million per episode to carry reruns of the series. The final episode aired on May 6, 1997, on Fox. The network deliberated on the show's fate, eventually opting to cancel it without informing the cast directly. Ed O'Neill discovered the decision while on vacation, thanks to a couple who read about it in the newspaper and shared the news. In a similar fashion, Christina Applegate learned of the cancellation from Friends. The abrupt end to the series added an unexpected chapter to its history, leaving both the cast and fans with an unanticipated conclusion. These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the challenges and decisions that shape the fate of the show, providing a different perspective on its legacy. The intricate web of factors influencing its cancellation reflects the complex dynamics of the television industry during that time. Understanding these aspects contributes to a more comprehensive appreciation of the show's journey. Al's preference for the fictional Western psycho dad adds a humorous touch to Married. With children, this quirky detail showcases his character's distinct taste and contributes to the show's comedic appeal. Interestingly, Married, with children held the record as the longest running show without winning an Emmy until Baywatch ended in 2001. Despite its enduring popularity, the series never secured the prestigious award, highlighting a unique aspect of its television history. One standout moment in the series, Al's fall off the roof in Season 4, Episode 13, titled Who'll Stop the Rain, was widely recognized as one of Married with Children's Funniest Moments. This comedic highlight reflects the show's knack for blending humor with unexpected situations resonating with viewers. These three facts provide a glimpse into the distinctive elements that shaped Married, with children's narrative from Al's TV preferences to the show's remarkable longevity and memorable comedic moments. Each detail contributes to the show's charm and the viewer's connection with its unconventional humor, making it a notable part of television history.